General Raymond, uh, the Grand Forks Air Force Base is going to be part of SDA's new uh, network, uh, the LEO network, uh, Grand Forks, along with Redstone, Alabama. That's very important to us, and we've actually done quite a bit in the appropriations process to make sure that that happens and proceeds uh, on time. We've made a substantial commitment to that, uh, as you know, in, in the current uh, fiscal year, and we'll continue, we intend to continue to do that. Um, now, SDA is coming under your umbrella at um, Space Force, and so I guess can you assure me that they, uh, that the director, Derek Tonier, and SDA will have the uh, the freedom to to continue to be as innovative as they have, and to, to rapidly and flexibly continue to move forward on a, an amazing but vitally important mission. When we look at our near peers, which we talked about earlier, whether it's uh, particularly China. Uh, making sure we have the uh, technological advantage on everybody. Are they going to have the freedom to do what they need to do to continue uh, with uh, their LEO and other missions? Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, I, I was in a helicopter over North Dakota this weekend in a wind warning. And I'll tell you I heard what, you gave uh, the, the address at I gave the commencement Dakota, address, right? yeah. Yes, sir. It's a big honor, honor to be there. I, I'm sure it was and I'll great. tell you, the Army National Guard provided great support and out of Bismarck, and I yeah. really appreciate it. Thank you for doing um, it. Had an opportunity to go visit uh, the folks up at Cavalier as well that are doing great work. But to get to your, to your question, um, we want uh, SDA to come in and be successful. In fact, we've taken SDA's capability and integrated them into our overall force design to get after this missile warning and missile tracking, and then to also get after a, a, a space data transport layer. It's of critical importance. The secretary has given very clear direction uh, that although they don't come in until 1 October of this year, we're treating them like they're in today. And we've integrated them into everything that we're doing. And the secretary has also made a decision that they're going to come in uh, with the authorities that they have uh, today uh, as we as we mature that integration. So I'm very comfortable that they're well positioned uh, to be able to continue to do what they're doing, but to do it as part of a meaningful operational architecture, which is going to be critical. Yeah, uh, Mr. Secretary, welcome. Any thoughts you have there as well? As General Raymond indicated, we're dealing with SDA today as if they were already part of the team. Um, we're anxious to have them on board, but I think the transition is going to be very seamless. Okay. I want to thank all three of you for your support in terms of that technology. Uh, again, it is so important that our warriors have that technological advantage. And so your approach in terms of transitioning from legacy systems to these new technologies, I think, is, is really important. And, and, and you're doing it in a creative way. General Brown, you and I have had conversations. I, I think it's so important. I know how committed you are to it. But the way you're doing it, I think, is the right way. And I really commend you and thank you for that. So appreciate it very much. Mr. Chairman, thank you for the additional time.